What's up, weeds? Welcome back to a different kind of video. Um, it's more pre-recorded gameplay, but it's not going to be a Jota Jiren. This is more of kind of a just a freestyle video. I will say this first before uh, we get started. I'll acknowledge the gameplay once. I need to play like this on camera all the time. I went dummy on this, but that's not what we're here for. Today, I was, well, not even today. The other day, I was watching the boy, um, Omega Pro, and he was talking about why anime games really suck and <laughs> he's kind of right a lot of them were kind of really just um held down by licensing and limitations of what they can do and a lot and note you'll notice a lot of them are kind of just like limited to like arena fighters like naruto dragon ball z did arena fighters for years before we got fighters and i think one piece does a lot of like dynasty warriors type games but they also have arena fighters as well and oh and the biggest anime game too jump force is an arena fighter and it's kind of it's kind of hurting because there's so much more they can do and that's kind of what this video is about these are going to be a bunch of dream anime games that can ha that i really wish we could have happen but in reality these are dreams <laughs> there's not a huge there's not even a small chance that these can happen um but you know it's 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 nice to look look at the what if sometimes you know what i mean and i have a list there's actually kind of a couple i think it was like 16 or 17 different animes i came up with they all have at least one some even have multiple games that they can do and i really i really wish we got at least one of these at least one of these would have been nice actually one of these i would say is likely um and i'll and i'll explain when i get to that one but the first one we have on the list is one piece could have really easily just had a Sea of Thieves port. Like, if you just slapped a One Piece skin on Sea of Thieves, One Piece stands would have ate that up. They would have they, they would have been the Straw Hats. They would have been whatever pirate crew they wanted to be. They could have been Whitebeard. They could have been Blackbeard. They could have been whoever. They could have gone search for a, a Devil Fruit. Kind of was like, it, it's it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Um, I know developing games is super difficult, but like that's like one of the easiest ideas you can come up with right there you know one piece is about pirates and see these is literally like pirate simulator with a massive online community it could have it could have been huge it could have been one of the biggest anime games ever especially with how many one piece like fans there are it could have it could have gone crazy the next game i'm not super this one i'm not super iffy about because there, a lot of games a lot of animes i had an idea for a game but the more i thought about it they weren't the greatest like this one is bleach could get us a, a samurai showdown um game which it, it would kind of work a lot of emo 90 percent of the characters do use swords samurai showdown has that unique mechanic where you can knock the sword out of the player's hand and they can then go into fist fighting and i think the power in bleach where they don't use swords is hado hido i don't i'll i'll put it up on the screen when i figure it out <laughs> but they they have options for you know swordless fighting and it really would have helped but I don't know how much Bleach could have worked in a Samurai Showdown setting. It didn't really, it doesn't really fit the more I think about it, but it is an option that could be out there. And the next one, <laughs> this next one is one that actually, the next one is actually one I thought, I thought of first and what kind of started this whole list was Berserk. Berserk means either like, you know, a Dark Souls, a God of War, or even like a Witcher series type game. Because Dark Souls obviously is like, a big part of Dark Souls is like enemies that are like way bigger than you. And that's like mostly what Berserk is. Like it's just demons and demons and demons and like huge warriors. It would have been crazy. And Guts is holding literally an ultra great sword. It's crazy. It's right there. God of War, it could have just been, you know, like fighting gods and demons like that. It would have been a little faster paced. Been nice. And Witcher, Guts does just roam the land. Like Gerald, he could he could have really just been a Gerald. That would have been easy this ooh, the next one though this is one i really like because blade of the immortal is one of my favorite animes probably ever right now and if that had a ghost of tsushima style game would have been disgustingly good it would have been so good the story completely fits for a ghost of tsushima style game where it's just wandering and actually now that i think about it ghost of tsushima could also fit like a samurai champaloo game too where you just search for the samurai that smells the sunflower, it would have been fire. We would have, yeah, we're, we're getting robbed on anime games when I read these lists. 
it's crazy and then next hunter hunter i had the idea for dragon quest but that one is getting made into an anime and kind of is its own thing already for japan so i kind of i had dragon quest in one and then final fantasy in another one because it's hunter hunter is really just like an rpg anime straight up <laughs> like it's just adventures it's just adventures and adventures that's all that's all hunter hunter is so like why not put it into an RPG style game? It would have, it would have worked pretty good. I think it would have fit pretty, pretty easily. Ne Ooh, the next one was actually Doro Oro, kind of in the same vein as Berserk, where it could have gone to a From Software game. I think Doro Oro would have worked very well in a Sekiro style, because it would have the Dark Souls difficulty type in it. But Doro Oro is a much faster paced fight fight scene anime. It its fight scenes are much faster paced. Hyakumaru just runs around like the entire fight. So Sekiro kind of would have fit that a little bit better. I think that would have been really cool. Yu Yu Hakusho. I know it has some games. I don't know how good they are. I didn't really. I didn't play them. I know some of them on the Game Boy. And I there might be a couple on the PlayStation like two. I think so. But I think it would have worked pretty good in like a Street Fighter sense. I think more because I see like Yusuke could be like the Ryu of the game, and then Toguro could be. I don't know who that giant dude with the hammers on his arm is. I think his name is like not the hammers, <laughs> the tires around his arms. I think his name is like Abigail or something. But like you know, just that kind of like size difference and kind of like model type. Like I think that would have fit a little bit more. But when I thought about it more, um, I think Yu Yu Hakusho could actually work better in like a Sleeping Dogs style, because Sleeping Dogs is, if I remember, it's like an undercover cop game. And you could, it could have just been like a spirit detective game where like you live. That would, that sounds more like Persona now. I'm saying it where like Yusuke goes through his high school life, but then every once in a while, you know, uh, a spirit shows up in the city, and that's when you go handle business. That would have been pretty cool. He, ooh, this is another one. This is another one I thought of. Black Clover. I think Black Clover did it right with the MOBA. I think they did it right making that MOBA game. I just don't think it got enough popularity because Black Clover has plenty of characters that you could have chosen as champions to play as in that game but i just feel like the game wasn't marketed right i think they brought it out at a weird time like black clover was like an episode like 70 or 80 and there wasn't nothing really big happened for black clover in those episodes so it was really like slow time to bring out black clover a black clover game especially one that's a moba that you want a lot of people playing at the same time so i think if they released it now with like devil and Yuno's uh, spirit powers, Asta's like crazy, like demon, new demon form. Especially if they went manga route, they would have had some good. They would have had some good characters to put in there, and it would have been a lot more hype. This is the one that I think can happen. Like this one seems like the most likely to happen out of all of them is sports anime. We just got Captain Tsubasa, probably one of the. Is it the first? It's the first one in a long in a while. Um, sports anime games. And I feel like this might be Bandai dipping their toes into the sports anime game water. And they want, they want to see the reception of Captain Tsubasa to see if they can make, like, you know, Haikyuu, Ace No Diamond, Slam Dunk, Crokinole Basket bit games. Because they would slap. They would slap. I don't know if you want to put Initial D in there as a sports anime game. I don't know if you would classify racing as a sports, as a sport game. But fit Initial D in there. Why not? And speaking of sports, Baki, I was gonna say it would fit in a UFC style game, but UFC games are kind of super limited to what you could do in the fight. So I think Baki would actually work a lot better in a Def Jam type fight. In a Def Jam type fight, Baki would go crazy because they have all these dirty moves, they have all these special moves, ultimates, it would have gone crazy. It would have been dumb. And probably main stage probably would have been the, is it the maximum tournament? I forget what the tournament's called, but it would have been that arena that they have underground in uh, Japan. It would have been pretty nice. The next one, Trigun. I feel like Trigun can work really good as like a Max Payne game or even like a GoldenEye game. Like a GoldenEye game for a little bit of multiplayer, but they don't have like the most. They have like, they have Vash, they have the Priest, and then they have Vash's brother. That's about it. I mean, I guess you could count the insurance girls, but not really, really. Uh, I think it would fit more in a Max Payne game like story like it can just progress story wise instead of just being focused on multiplayer like that that's how i think trigon would do a lot better and then this one okay elder scrolls the elder scrolls games i feel like can do a 
lot good for multiple enemies. Like, Elder Scrolls can really do good for a Shield Hero game. And I think Shield Hero, especially in like an Elder Scrolls Online type style. And then for like single player, like a Skyrim or Oblivion style, is like time I got reincarnated as a slime or even like an Overlord style game. I think those would have worked really good. The kind of game Elder Scrolls tends to make. Those would have really fit the theme. It would have really fit the gameplay. I'm trying to think of more like medieval animes. I can't really put my hand on it because the other ones I'm thinking of kind of fit into the next one, which are like dungeon crawler games. So like Tower of God, <laughs> which we barely got season one, I know, but it was good. <laughs> it was pretty good. How to pick up girls in the dungeon Don Machi, which just got a console game, but like it doesn't look that good. And, and then Goblin Slayer. We don't have a Goblin Slayer game. These can all work as just the whole anime is basically dungeon crawling already. So why not make a dungeon crawling type game? It could be like a Diablo. It could be like a Binding of Isaac. It would it would be really good. <laughs> like those dungeon crawling games usually tend to be timeless. Like Binding of Isaac is still really good to this day. Diablo, I'm sure people still play it to this day. Like a lot. I'm sure people a lot of people still play it. But if we're gonna work on popularity, if we're gonna work on popularity, you know what's popular right now? Among Us. And what happens in Among Us? Somebody a couple people that never played Among Us. It's like two. Two people of a group are imposters and they have to kill everybody. You know what would work in that? Parasite. Parasite the Maxim would be crazy in an Among Us style game. Like it's just a group of like seven people and one or two of them are parasites and they have to kill everybody else before they figure it out. That would go crazy. I mean like another example would be like a Trouble in Terrace Town but like it's it's in the same vein you get what it's kind of working at. Like that would go crazy. That would be wild. And then next, if we want to go into like MMO style, I think Shield Hero will work here too, but Sword Art Online could really work like a Destiny game where it's just massive multiplayer and everyone's doing quests and just moving around. Then every once in a while there's raids, nightfalls. I mean, nightfalls aren't like specific, but strikes, raids, multiplayer, it would go, it would work pretty good. I think that would work pretty good for Sword Art Online. Even Shield Hero can do that because even in the anime Shield Hero had like timed raids. I feel like it would work there. I feel like it would work pretty good there. And the last one on this list is actually kind of iffy on this one. I'm kind of iffy on this one, especially because I'm not caught up on the manga that I think is already over. I think Promised Neverland and it Promised Neverland I think can work pretty good in a Dead by Daylight setting. Like if you were just one of the kids and you had to hide or escape from either a maid or whatever those monsters are that actually eat the kids. Like I think that would be a really, really cool idea for a Dead by Daylight skin style game. It would it would be pretty cool. I think it would be pretty cool. I think a lot of these games would be pretty cool. Ones I really want to see, I want to see the Berserk one. Oh, I'd kill to see the Dororo and Blade of the Immortal one. And then just give me some give me some sports anime games, dude. Like I need I definitely need to pick up Captain Tsubasa at some point. I need to pick that up. But like, give me a Haikyuu game, give me, give me Kurokuno's Basket, give me some good sports anime games. I, they've been here forever and I, we just need them. There's, they're heat. The anime's heat, the game would be heat. It get us out of 2K, get us out of Madden. Ice Shield 21, that's a, that's a football uh, manga. I don't know if it has an anime, but it's a manga about football. We can get it there too. There's a, there's actual football right there. We basically have every sport covered for sports anime. You can make a sports anime game. For basically every sport out there we have one we have one and these are all really I, I i think they're good ideas i mean i made the list these are all dreams i really wish if we got one of these that would be insane these are dreams these are, it's not a perfect world if any if any of these enemies come out they're probably going to be an arena fighter they're probably going to be a dynasty warriors type uh type game i just hope they're not a kakarot style game because they really cut out a lot of Kakarot and it really didn't make it that good of a game. But that's really all I had. Um, that's about 16 animes? I think that was about 16 animes. I didn't really count it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of anime games you would want to see. What is your dream anime game? And what style of game would it be? Or would it be in a new type of game entirely? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button if you guys are... If you guys are enjoyed. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.